welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and as promised, I do have some fun Christmas DIYs. This first one is going to be some really easy pom-pom Christmas decor DIYs. I'm really excited about this one. It's so cute. Everything is anthropology inspired, although not everything is available for purchase on anthropology.com anymore. These are some of the things that I've been seeing over the course of the last few years. And I think they're just super easy to make yourself rather than paying the money and you have the pleasure of making it and having it in your house. There's just something about that. So I just wanna say that I thought of doing all of these pom-poms by hand without a pom-pom maker. My friend Patty over at Patty Mac Makes, she thought I was crazy. She suggested using a pom-pom maker and after making my first pom-pom without a pom-pom maker and realizing that I was going to have to make like a hundred of these, I realized I needed a pom-pom maker. So I set out to find some and I did find some over at Joann's. You can also find them at Michael's. You can find them on amazon.com. If you are feeling like you don't wanna go anywhere during this crazy holiday season, just wait two days for Amazon Prime. It'll arrive at your door. So I'll link everything below, but I have this giant pom-pom maker and then I bought two smaller ones. So you can make your pom-poms by hand, but I wouldn't suggest that if you plan to make all three of the crafts that I have here today because you will lose your mind. It's just a lot of work. Not only that, but there's a ton of waste when you make them by hand and you don't have as much waste when you use the pom-pom maker. The yarn I used for these pom-poms I found at Michael's, but you can also find that online. And really you could use any yarn that you want for these. If you have some yarn laying around from some old craft projects, I suggest trying that. I really am trying to implement some more sustainable practices. So buying something new every time is not always <laughs> the right answer. So definitely check your craft drawer, check and make sure you ha don't have something that you can already use. And I also think that these pom-poms are just fun to sit around with your family. If you're just celebrating Christmas this week to make together, they're great gifts. You can put them on gifts. You can put them on your tree. There's just a million things you can do with these. So keep that in mind. And also I feel like these are not necessarily Christmas decor items. Like, I'm gonna keep a couple of them up all year round. <laughs> They're Christmas inspired, but I feel like they can transition into the season, especially if you go the route that I did and use white yarn for your pom-poms. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have up my sleeve in the way of pom-poms. I'm very excited because I think everything is just so cute. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do that. I do DIY videos, some macrame, some home decor. I have a son. I do some videos all about whatever it is I'm doing with him. And yeah, so if you're into any of that, make sure you stick around. So for this pom-pom garland, I'm gonna use this Lions Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick yarn. I thought it was beautiful because it has this gorgeous gold thread running through it. I'm using the smallest pom-pom maker I have, which makes a pom-pom that's about one and three eighths of an inch in diameter. Using these is pretty simple. You just open one side and you wrap your yarn. The more yarn you're able to fit inside of it, the bigger and more packed your pom-pom will be. Of course, there is a capacity to these. Um, I do try to pack it as well as I can because I like my pom-poms to be nice and really full and fluffy. Once you wrap the inside of one side, you close it up and you wrap the other side. And once both sides are wrapped, you're gonna need some really sharp scissors. I use a pair of gingers, which I will link below. They are worth the investment if you do a lot of crafts. Just cutting down the middle of my pom-pom maker, I'm gonna do this on both sides. Keep some pressure on the center of your pom-pom maker so that you don't lose any of your yarn. And then I'm using some twine to tie off my pom-pom. You don't wanna use yarn because the yarn is a little slippery and it will be a loose pom-pom, which you do not want. So you can see you just wrap your twine around the center, tie it really nice and tight and then you can remove your pom-pom maker and then I tie another knot there just to keep it really nice and secure. After that you just want to trim off your excess strings so that your pom-pom is really nice and pretty and round. Now I made this garland pretty long. It's about 10 feet long. I wanted it to be able to wrap around a tree or be able to put it on my headboard so I used about 20 pom-poms to do this. I measured a length of twine to be about 10 feet long and I just started attaching my pom-poms just tying them around the twine and leaving about six inches of space in between each one. And you'll want to make sure that once your pom-pom is secure that you clip off the excess twine. And then you have a beautiful pom-pom 
garland. You can hang on a tree, you can hang over your bed, you can hang anywhere. I think this is a year round decor item that is just cute and celebratory and I have a feeling I'm going to be making another one at some point because I think I just wanna hang them all over my house now. For this pom-pom wreath, I'm gonna use two mixing bowls I found in my kitchen because I need something large and circular to make the outline of the backing of my wreath. So I have this thick cardboard box that I found in my garage, and I'm using a pen just to trace the outline of the larger mixing bowl. And then I place a smaller one in the very center and I trace that as well. Then I'm left with a little wreath outline. Because this cardboard is really thick, a pair of scissors was not going to cut it. So I used a razor. You can use an X-Acto knife or any kind of razor. Just please, please be very careful when you do this. So for my wreath, which is about 12 inches in diameter, I used about 60 pom-poms. That's a lot of pom-poms. I watched a little bit of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel and I just made a ton of pom-poms. So I cut all of the twine off of my pom-poms. There's no twine hanging off and I used a hot glue gun and I just glued pom-poms all the way around on the very center of this cardboard. And then I started gluing to the inside and the outside of my wreath. Once all my pom-poms were attached, I just flipped it over and I tied a little piece of twine around the wreath and you can just hide it behind the pom-poms. There's no hot gluing or anything. It just hides really easily and you have a little piece of string to hang your wreath with. Last but not least is this giant pom-pom ornament. You can use any size pom-pom maker you want for this. The size that I have here is the four and a half inch pom-pom maker. And what's fun about the giant pom-pom is that you can mix different yarns, different colors, different textures. I'm using these three Lions brand yarns and just different colors. I like the combination but I think it'd be really fun to just throw in some mixed materials and just fun colors. You can really have fun with this one. I'm making this just like I made the smaller pom-poms and I'm just kind of being random with the yarn and the colors and just layering them in there. Make sure you tie your two pieces of twine together so that you have a way to hang your giant pom-pom ornament from your tree. Uh, uh, so pull. Cool.